Uh oh. That battle might not go well. I'll just buy even more troops. Oh wow, actually my mercenaries are winning. Oh no, now they're losing. <laughs> oh, and I've got nationalist rebels spawning over here. Really? The revolt risk is 0.7%. <laughs> Must be like 0.7% a day. <laughs> Ah oh, man, I can't stand all these rebels while I'm warring. Man, maybe I should have taken longer to uh, consolidate my uh, realm there. At least his army should be crushed here. Uh oh, they're running away again. Never mind. Hmm. Well, let's run these guys in. Who knows? They might win for off of uh, morale. Oh, they did actually. And they killed off that guy's reinforcements too. Now all we have to do is go over a province and we should stop his army. Fortunately we can't get him out of this war because he joined because of a coalition unless they change that. Hmm. Where is he going now? My land? He can't be retreating to my land. This guy is crazy. How's he even doing that? <laughs> yeah, I might have to just end this war with Arisa. It's not working out. And I hope will at least... Oh, man, these guys are still besieging. My guys suck at sieging. This guy's troops just won't die. They just keep retreating. There we go. Finally. Oh, crap. There's actually a big stack heading my way. Uh-oh. My guy's already had low morale from the past few battles. Oh, he's got two negatives, though. Nice. Oh man, this could go anyway. Oh, looks like my guys are prevailing. Oh, they're getting reinforcements though. Oh no, those reinforcements did it. That might be a loss. Hmm. I'm just gonna piece this war out. This is not working out. As soon as those guys return. See if I can get a reinforcement for this battle in time. Probably not. Fights are over so fast at this stage of the game. Oh, my guys are holding out pretty long, though. This unit gets there, it might be all they need. Oh, or they'll die a day before that unit gets there. Wow. That sucks. Oh well, my guys are falling back. Oh, I don't want those re uh, that rebellion to spread though. Hmm. Let's call these guys back from Bengal. They're not doing anything over there anyway. Hmm. Why is the war not in my favor? This guy's ready to peace out. I wonder if he'll give me any land. No, he won't. He will just peace out, though. I think we'll do that, because I have all these rebels to go. Can't win every war. Hopefully I at least uh, cost him something so that uh, his nation uh, is in turmoil from uh, lack of troops or something. I need to fix up my armies and uh, crush these rebels. At least I can start uh, annexing these guys. They suck during the war. I'd much rather have that land under my control. That'll give me all of southern uh, India except for this little bit here. I 
I should look into getting a, a powerful ally to help me out. Thirteen to six, come on, they shouldn't have a chance. This army's mostly mercenaries, so I don't care if they live or die. I'm gonna disband them after this anyway. Oh damn. <laughs> Well, my money's fixed, plus 10, that is awesome. My military is dinky. Six units are all I have. Well, I guess eight units technically, but that is pitiful. I'm gonna need to stay out of conflicts for a bit. Hmm, who else can I pick on? They won these smaller guys. Would be nice to grab this land. And I can split Orisa in half when I start the war. <laughs> that general died. He sucked anyway. Oh shoot, they already had military tech for. I should have paid attention to that. That's why they were uh, doing so well against me. Oh no, never mind. I'm wrong. Military Tech 5 is the one that unlocks it. That's when I'll uh, declare war again once I get this tech. This gives me a better uh, type of unit and uh, some other combat benefits. That should give me the edge. Hey, what's up, Dragos? When we've gained all the ideas, we'll have plus 100% mercenaries. Oh man, I guess we want if we want to use mercenaries during that like end game. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with administrative ideas. Hmm. Go with production again. Man, we're gonna be living off of mercenaries for a while. <laughs> my manpower is always rock bottom. I think my stability is uh, plus two, otherwise we'd be having uh, peasant revolutions. <laughs> Man, I have so many reasons why uh, Revolt Risk is high here. Hmm. I shouldn't have to uh, reduce my war exhaustion. It's going down every month. I'll just wait. I should be able to repel any rebels that pop up just by hiring more uh, mercenaries if I have to. There we go. Yeah, National Epic. That sounds good. Alright, it's time for our king to die, because my legitimacy is low. Man, he's 70. He's living forever. My heir is 51. Damn. That's gotta be a really old for back then. Wow, yeah, there we go. At least uh, <laughs> I uh, claimed all my... Uh, uh, I annexed all my territory. I am very large now. Shame Orisa had so many friends in that war. I might just go uh, make a ton of mercenaries once I get that military tech. Although, uh, the issue is uh, not all the mercenaries will be that new unit type. That's the problem with mercenaries. It'll just be whatever it happens to be neighboring you. Indie Zealots. Nice. They have my flag on their, uh, 
on their rebellion. That might be really good. If they win, maybe this will be my land. That would be freaking awesome. Ooh, these guys still aren't going to become my vassal. I need more attack space. And I need more military power. That's fine. The distance between borders is very high, considering we're like, we can see each other across this bay, probably. <laughs> There we go. I got that military tech. Let's upgrade to uh, superior unit types. Oh yeah, so this is what we had. At, uh, one offensive and one defensive morale. And we lose a defensive morale, but we gain offensive and defensive shock and fire. So uh, they've actually got guns. Which is uh, actually pretty interesting, because the European troops don't get guns till later on. It's all uh, knights and uh, pikemen over there still. <laughs> Clearly the the Indians just aren't at it as advanced. <laughs> Alright, let's look and see if we can grab an ally over here somewhere. How about Shan? Ah, oh, they dislike me. They want my provinces. Negative 128. Well, kind of hard to beat that. Uh, Timurids? Hmm. No, they don't like me. Maybe these guys. No, they hate me. Although, actually, if I improve my relation with them a little bit, they probably will ally with me. That might be nice. How about these guys? Nope. Man, it's hard to find any uh, one to relate to. Hmm. Well, I've actually only got room for one, so uh, we'll team up with these guys. They're kind of small, but that's fine. Anything to help put more pressure on these guys. And where is their army, anyway? Are they at war? I'd love these guys to be at war. They're allied with Nepal now. Nepal's actually really good, but it's so dinky it doesn't matter. Nepal has some amazing national ideas. Hmm. I guess we can build some more uh, armories. That'll help. Oh, plus five prestige. Nice. That'll give us a little bit more manpower. We'll just do the tip. Just the tip. Uh, let's see. Are we converting still? Yes, we are. Let's increase our missionary strength. There we go. He'll be done in two years instead of like 20 years. <laughs> a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. I was waiting for that. King just died. We have this crappy 2 2 1 ruler. Ooh, the air is pretty good. Oh, he's mediocre, I suppose. Wow, he's four. This guy needs to live at least 11 years. <laughs> until he's 63. That's pretty old. Last guy lasted until like, what, 72 or something? Pretty crazy. An improved relation with these guys. Actually, I might look into warring these guys. They're allied with a Jew and a poor guy who I'm trying to suck up to, but uh... I want their land. Oh no, it's sunny. Never mind. Although, I do have uh, religious tolerance. Hmm. Eh, I'll just leave it. There's no point in me getting another fight with some... just for one province. Okay, let's get something that's military. 
It's the same thing, discipline and siege ability. I'll grab that again. Yeah, I'll uh I'll suck up to them. Let me see. Can't oh no, that's right, they have a negative one twenty eight against me. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. Maybe if I get them over uh negative relations, they won't be uh crazy about me anymore. Oh I already have. I've improved their relations by a hundred. Wow. So plus 100 gets me to negative 38. That is... Okay, we are not going to be friends with them, I guess. <laughs> At the very least, uh, well, actually, we do have Bengal. Maybe I should have next Bengal. They're my vassal. Oh, I don't even have good relations with them. Oh, because I've annexed their negative 80 with me. All right, we're going to improve relations with them. Uh, Yeah, I'm going to take this back from... Gujarat. I don't care about those guys. I kind of wanted to keep Bengal my vassal to get some extra troops and uh, also have a little buffer because if I make that my land, Shan might rival me. And I don't really need Shan and Orisa against me with my little bit of strip of land here. I was hoping my war with Orisa would be more successful and I could grab uh, Garjat and uh, return the Bengal Delta to my uh, vassal. I would connect my land and make it easy to finish off Arisa in the next war. That did not work out as planned. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty decent. He's uh was a four one two, I think he was. Well, this one's pretty mad. Two two one is pretty bad, but uh four one two. He's two points better than this guy. Which is good, this guy's gonna die anyways. So uh, I'll next Vengal while uh, he's around, I suppose. First I need to get my relations up to, uh, what's it, 190 or whatever. That's fine, it's gonna take time anyway, because uh, I need to burn off that next Vassal uh, Malice there. Where's Murderai? Murderai. It's a pretty cool name. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have no idea where that is. Murder Eye. Oh, there it is. Ooh, plus 10 is huge. Let's. We'll just lose some administrative power. I'm sick of rebels. Alright, they're not tech 5 yet. I'm thinking about warring these guys again. Uh, we have a treaty. It'll expire in one year. I actually have more allies than before, which is kind of frustrating, but uh... I think this time, I'm actually going to move into Gujarat first and uh... get them shut down. And figure out where these guys' Doomstack is at and uh, take it out. Let's see, Miwar is going to join in as well, but they're a vassal, so I can't even piece him out. This guy will be a coalition, so I can't piece him out. Not frustrating. There we go, I can ally this guy. Fortunately, I think he's also this guy's, uh... Oh no, he's not his ally. I wonder if he'll uh, join a war with me. That'd be very nice. He will join the war. This Cathy War guy sucks. He won't join any wars. Still holding out to vassalize this guy. <laughs> Alright, where's my revolt risk at? Ceylon again? Oh, just because they're being converted. Oh man, that's almost done though. 
October 1478, that's when we'll uh, declare war. I don't have to worry about rebels popping up here again. That was terrible timing. I do have revolt risk elsewhere as well. Hmm. I hate to spend the power there, but it's it's only 10 military power. <laughs> Let's bulk up our army with some uh, mercenaries. Elephant archers. That sounds cool. Unless we got some of those uh, more advanced units. Hopefully that doesn't mean they've got the tech now. Nope, I'm still a tech level ahead of them. Yeah, I think we should definitely push that advantage and uh, wipe them out. We'll send the mercenaries in first. Our other army will take Gujarat. I know it might be bad to split them up, but uh, there's just not high enough supply limits on these tiles. I don't want to suffer from attrition. Oh man, my heir is gonna die. <laughs> Ooh, illegal heir with five four three. Ooh, he's got a weak claim. But damn, those are those are pretty good stats. <laughs> Krishna. He's got a pretty cool name too. A name I could pronounce. Mala Malakar Juna Sengama. Wow, this guy's got like double the stats. Oh, actually, he's got more than double. He's got a total of uh, 12 points. And this guy's got a total of 5 points. <laughs> if he ever makes it to the throne. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot to raise my maintenance. Oh, that's okay. We're still waiting until October, though. So in that case, we'll uh, fabricate a claim. Let's grab Costa, maybe. Hit the whole south. That claim might take another year, though. Hello. Whoa. Why would Why would I want negative one yearly legitimacy, fifty percent less chance of an heir, and minus one diplomatic relations? <laughs> or I can gain two prestige. <laughs> like what is the choice here? <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go with the obvious good option and see if something absolutely terrible happens. <laughs> Speed things up here a little bit. I was not like revolt risk or anything from this. Eh, diplomatic reputation always helps. Let's get a new general. Ah, here we go. This guy's pretty good. 4320. I would like a general with some uh, extra sieging. That's fine, though. Alright, we've converted these heretics to the one and true faith. 
Let's convert uh, Bidar next. Give him some harsh treatment as well. Uh, there's Shia. Uh, which is not something we like, I guess. I don't remember Shia being a religion in this game. <laughs> All right, let's get our maintenance up and go to war. Oh man, my income's uh, sucking for some reason. Must be because my army's like 90% mercenaries. <laughs> oh, Liz wants stability, what the hell? That's a good way to go into war. Whoa. Yeah, that's cool. I'll leave that, I'll leave that there for a bit because anyone wants to read it. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Orisa is no longer in the military coalition against us. So you know what? Gujarat is still in the coalition. Who are they allied to? Delhi. Oh, Delhi. That ah, Delhi just got spanked by the Timurids. I think we'll uh we'll take out these guys. Who are my rivals? I can't. Why do I only have one rival? I should have two more options I can choose. That's actually hurting me. But uh. Uh, I need a diplomat. Alright, we're gonna go to war with these guys and take all their land. Oh good that they're the proper religion as well. Ah, maybe I'll just vassalize them. I don't know, they're high tax as well. Yeah, I'm gonna vassalize them. It's usually the uh, the right option. <laughs> I don't have a Cassus Belly. All right, let's get one. Keep things sped up. I'm gonna get my uh, maintenance back down. Make some more money. Man, those <laughs> mercenaries are definitely digging into my wallet. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make it off this trade route. Oh, very nice. Oman is actually stealing a lot of my trade power. That makes sense. That route's going over here. They're all about that node. That is also a very nice node. What I should be doing is uh, conquering more of uh, Bengal, gain dominance in that node. Oh, that is nice. Shan just rivaled Orisa. Maybe those two will go at it. This again? I just got this. Well, I'll make the obvious good choice again. I don't know why you'd make the terrible choice. Unless there's like a chance of you getting something good, but who would do that? <laughs> Eh, I'll improve relations with Arusa. Why not? Not gonna have any effect. Well, actually, oh, I'm gonna keep improving relations with Bengal. What am I thinking? Improving relations with Arusa. All right, this should be an easy war, unless like Delhi's got like some tactical nukes up their uh, <laughs> their hands over there. Shit. Manpower has actually gone up because we've had such a long period of peace. And my manpower income is like double what it was uh, from last war. Oh shit, I wasn't even paying attention. Alright, we're good to declare. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We're good to declare war on these guys. I just have to wait for uh, my morale to get back up. I'm going to fabricate a claim on that man law guy. Why not? <laughs> I can just annex those guys. Might be good to gobble up all the smaller guys around here. I'll be stronger in the end.
Forgot you need a diplomat to declare war. Duh. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, these guys will actually join in the war. Which is nice. They don't have a chance. Uh, sure. I don't want to piss off the peasants. <laughs> Those guys just retreated to an enemy province and started laying siege. What is going on here? <laughs> they must have changed something. I do not like that change. <laughs> Shouldn't be able to retreat into enemy lands and then lay conquest. <laughs> On the upside, my revolt risk is very low now. It's probably going to go up as this war goes on. Let's see, how else am I fighting? Delhi did join in this war. They're so far away, though. Oh, that's interesting. I can vassalize these guys. They're already a vassal of Orisa. Oh, Arisa must have beaten me to it. Ah, cheaper military tech. That's nice. Fortunately, I'm very far away from getting the next military tech. Wow, that was a fast siege. Well, this is a pretty by the numbers war. <laughs> Just sitting and waiting on siege counters. I just want to vassalize them though, so I don't even need to get 200%. Probably the siege, I can do it. Oh, uh, this one's almost over too. We'll see. If this one's really close, I'll wait. Oh, that's nice. Those are two very good upgrades. Oh, they changed that upgrade. It's local uh, production efficiency instead of tax now. That's a pretty major change. Oh, let's kill Delhi. Why not? Get a little army tradition out of this war. Alright, peace time. I vassalize them and take all their money. Might as well improve relations with our new vassal. <laughs> Man, my techs are so expensive. 903, jeez. 